Hey guys, this is Heather. It's a really exciting week around here because I got my first print copy of my new cookbook, The Vegan Electric Pressure Cooker. So that's really exciting. It's, it's always nice to just feel it in print. Um, anyway, I had you guys vote on which recipe we were gonna make today. So thank you to everyone who voted. I added up between um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and a few people who uh, emailed back to me, which recipe between veggie fried rice and a teriyaki tempeh. And the winner is the teriyaki tempeh and broccoli. Now this recipe is actually pictured on the back cover of the book, which is cool, as well as the chapter opening for basic beans and legumes and on the very front inside that's it right there yum 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 so when i first was brainstorming recipes to put into this book for the beans and legumes chapter i knew i wanted to do a tempeh recipe because tempeh is my love i love it so much and it's um it's one of those things where it's really nice if it's slow cooked so i've baked it uh, we also grilled it one time in a video on the barbecue, which was lovely, and I thought, hmm, pressure cooking must do some awesome things to tempeh, and it does. So, let's make this. First thing we're going to do is make the sauce in our pot of our pressure cooker. So make sure, as your first step, that you're not putting stuff directly in here, because that would be bad. And what we're gonna do is add some water. Any pressure cooker recipe needs to have some liquid because that's how food cooks in your pressure cooker, is with liquid. We're gonna do a tablespoon of olive oil. You can leave that out if you want, but I do recommend it because it helps the, the sauce coat to the tempeh. A little bit of sugar or maple syrup teaspoon of arrowroot or cornstarch. This helps it thicken. Also, not necessary, but if you do have it, it's good to put in there. Um, and I'm gonna use some fresh ginger. The recipe says you could use fresh or ground ginger, depending on what you have available. And really, it just, you can just grate it right in there. You only need about a teaspoon. That's plenty tamari or soy sauce. <laughs> Definitely want to put that in there. That adds to the liquid and gives the flavor and saltiness to your tempeh. So mix that together until it's combined. And then what you're gonna do is cut up your tempeh. So for people who haven't seen it before, this is the brand that I can find at my store. There are lots of other brands though that you can explore. You want a plain tempeh for this. So we're just gonna take it out of the package. Um, they do make flavored tempehs, but you don't wanna use one of those in this. The point of this is to season and soften your tempeh. So just cut it into cubes. This is a solid thing. So if you look at the middle, it's a very dense patty. It's not like tofu that is strained and pressed together. These are whole soybeans that are cooked, pressed together, and then cultured. So um, similar but different from tofu. So I usually do cubes about that size. You could also, if you want, slice them in half widthwise to make sure the uh, the flavor soaks right into your tempeh. But sometimes it's nice to have the big cubes. Now you could also do this with tofu if you prefer. I know some people just don't like tempeh. I love it. Um, and let's see, you'd probably do less time and pressure if you did tofu because this is going to go at high pressure for five minutes. Tofu probably doesn't need that long. So just dump it all in there and, you know, toss it around just a little bit. 
Try to make the tempeh a layer at the bottom because then what we're gonna do is cut up our broccoli and put it on top. So you could really do as much or as little broccoli as you want. I've said to put half a head in here. And what I do, because broccoli doesn't take very long to cook, so that it doesn't get overcooked, I cut it into fairly large chunks for this one. And you can, if you want, put these in a steamer basket and set that on top of your tempeh. But what I'm gonna do is just lay the broccoli in there on top. Um, so it'll all be together, but the broccoli isn't in the sauce really, is kind of what you're going for. So that's what that looks like. So the broccoli is basically going to steam on the top of this. So next we want to put the lid on, make sure the valve is set to sealing rather than venting. Get your lid on, lock it. And I'm gonna do manual time for five minutes. This has just beeped to let me know that it's done and we're gonna quick release the pressure. I like to use a wooden utensil so I don't get my fingers near the vent. And you just push it to the side and let's steam it. And when the steam finishes coming out, you can easily slide it when it's unlocked. Don't force it. Uh, and then take the lid off, let the steam out away from you. And then we can see what we got. So if you look in there, tempeh looks lovely, broccoli looks lovely. Now it's gonna come out really hot, but I find it really hard to wait to take a taste. Mmm. I just love tempeh. <laughs> tempeh is so so good and this is so nice because it's really soft so it's different than like when I might fry or bake a tempeh and it gets a little crispy on the outside this is nice and soft and so infused with flavor from the sauce that we made now this is great if you want to serve it on top of quinoa or rice or some noodles or whatever lovely if you want to top it with some chopped green onions and maybe some sesame seeds or some toasted cashews. Now in the book I listed it as serving two if you're having it as a meal, but sometimes I just eat the tempeh and broccoli on its own and that's like a hefty meal for one. I'm super excited to eat this for lunch now. Thank you everybody who voted for this one. You made me super happy. The veggie fried rice is also delicious, but tempeh is my love. So I'm, yeah, Thanks so much guys for watching and this book, The Vegan Electric Pressure Cooker, is out on pre-order right now so you can put your order in for the print copy on Amazon. If you do that, I'll send you a seven day pressure cooker meal plan. There's info at a link down below this video. Um, and there will be a Kindle edition, it'll be out August 27th. All right, happy eating and we will talk next week. See you then, bye guys. Yeah. A vegan new car, yeah.